closely today as firefighters continue to push towards full containment of the campfire in Butte County. A lot of survivors are now getting a chance to see the ruins left behind uh, for the very first time. That devastation, as you know, widespread across Butte County. And tonight, the task of finding victims continues in the burn area. Here's the latest information on the fire. 79 people are dead. Hundreds remain missing. The fire has burned more than 151,000 acres and is 70% contained and has destroyed more than 12,000 homes. And the scope of the damage and destruction can truly only be seen from above. Mm -hmm. We've shown video, yeah. drone video, uh, multiple times in the last week. Well, today, Fox 40's Doug Johnson had the chance to fly along with the Cal California National Guard on a tour of that burn area. He's joining us now live from the Chico Municipal Airport with a look at the damage. Doug. Yeah, Eric and Nikki, we uh, caught that flight from here in the Chico Airport. And from the air, you can really just see the wide scope of all the damage and just the devastation. Now, a, a couple of CAL FIRE leaders were also on that flight with us, and they told us that they, they were taking away some valuable lessons from this tragedy. Fox 40 a tour from one of their Black Hawk helicopters. The California National Guard offered us a bird's eye view of the campfire's destructive path. It's a blaze which has now burned more than 150,000 acres and almost completely wiped the town of Paradise off the map. In my entire career, I've, I've been to multiple uh, urban incidents like this, uh, but uh, it's unprecedented for California. Cal Fire Division Chief Mark Higgins flew along with us to assess the damage. I can't imagine anything of this nature and magnitude in any other country so far. The devastation here is really just massive. You don't get a scope of it from the ground. When you come up to the skies, you can see it's neighborhood after neighborhood, and really the entire area around Paradise, which is affected by this. Manning the roadblocks below, the California National Guard has it's dozens right. of troops on the ground. I have seven soldiers um, that lost their homes in this fire, and some of those soldiers are actually out on the line right now. Colonel Robert Poletti says his men and women are also helping in the search for human remains, and ensuring crews are clean as they return from searching burned down homes. Maybe lead paint, possible asbestos is all now particulate contaminant that's in the ash, so we're decontaminating them as they come off the line. While so much was lost in paradise, in the air you can also see where firefighters were able to protect homes. We will wind up rethinking a lot of our uh, tactics. In the aftermath, Higgins says Cal Fire is now taking away valuable lessons. Probably the biggest message that we're going to get from this is uh, evacuations. They are going to be re-examining some of the evacuation plans along with local agencies to see how they can best get people out of an area when there is a wildfire approaching. Reporting live at the Chico Airport tonight, Doug Johnson, Fox 40 News. Doug, thank you. Uh, very good view from that helicopter, but tonight we're also getting another look at the devastation here left behind by this fire. These are before and after images. They were taken from space, so you can see here neighborhoods uh, completely wiped off the map. Uh, last week, Mayor Jody Jones told Fox 40 News that she estimates about 90% of the homes in her town in Paradise were either damaged or destroyed.